using the specific heat capacity equation to calculate the energy transferred by kscience.com. The formula linking the energy transferred into or out of an object, the mass of the object, the specific heat capacity of the object, and the temperature change of the object is change in energy transferred E equals the mass of the object M times C, the specific heat capacity, times the change in temperature, which is the sine theta. So the triangle is a sign that represents the change in. We say delta for that. So delta E, the change in E, is energy transferred into or out of the object. And because it's an energy, the unit is joules. M is the mass of the object, and the unit for mass is kilograms. C is the specific heat capacity of the object. And the unit for the specific heat capacity of an object is joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And delta theta, so the triangle and the theta sign, is the change in temperature. And because it's temperature, the unit for temperature is degrees Celsius. So the unit for joules per kilogram per degree Celsius is joules J per kilogram kg per degree Celsius. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So we're going to try and work out the energy transferred into or out of the following objects. So the first example is water, with a specific heat capacity of 4,200 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. The second example is a cooking oil, with a specific heat capacity of 2,100 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And the third example is concrete, which has a specific heat capacity of 850 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So we increased 1 kilogram of water from 6 degrees Celsius to 12 degrees Celsius. We increased 5 kilograms of oil from 83 degrees Celsius to 96 degrees Celsius. And 650 kilograms of concrete decreased its temperature from 43 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. So we want to calculate the energy transferred into the water, we want to calculate the energy transferred into the oil, but in the third example we want to calculate the energy transferred out of the concrete's thermal energy stores into the surroundings. So to increase the temperature of an object from 6 degrees to 12 degrees Celsius, energy has to have been transferred into the thermal energy store of the object. So the energy transferred equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. So the mass of the object is one kilogram, one kilogram. And the specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. And we need to calculate the change in temperature. So you do the final temperature, 12, minus the initial temperature, 6. So the change in temperature is 6 degrees Celsius. So you multiply 1 kilogram by 4,200 by 6. That gives you the energy transferred into 1 kilogram of water to increase its temperature from 6 to 12 degrees Celsius, which is 25,200 joules of energy. 25,200 joules of energy. So we want to calculate the energy transferred into 5 kilograms of cooking oil to increase its temperature from 83 degrees Celsius to 96 degrees Celsius. So the energy transferred equals the mass, which is five kilograms, times by the specific heat capacity for this cooking oil, which is 2,100 joules 
per kilogram per degree Celsius, times by the change in temperature. So the change in temperature is 96 degrees Celsius minus 83 degrees Celsius. This gives you a change in temperature of 13 degrees Celsius. So you multiply this by 13 degrees Celsius. And that gives you the energy transferred to 5 kilograms of oil to increase the temperature by 13 degrees Celsius of 136,500 joules of energy. 136,500 joules of energy. In these two examples, energy has been transferred into the objects to increase their temperature. So in the first example of the water, 25,200 joules of energy was transferred into the thermal energy store of the water. In the second example, 136,500 joules of energy was transferred into the thermal energy store of the oil. In this third example, we're calculating the energy transferred out of the concrete to decrease the temperature of the concrete from 43 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. So energy is being transferred out of the concrete to decrease the temperature of the concrete. So to calculate the energy transferred out of the concrete, so you multiply the mass of the concrete, which is 650 kilograms, times the specific heat capacity of concrete, which is 850 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius, multiplied by the temperature change. So temperature change is 43 minus 20 degrees Celsius. So that gives you a temperature change of 23 degrees Celsius. So you times 650 by 850 by 23 degrees. So the energy transferred from the thermal energy store of the concrete to its surroundings to decrease the concrete's temperature by 23 degrees is 12,707,505 joules of energy. So in the first two examples, energy was transferred into the thermal energy stores of the objects. In this final example, energy was transferred out of the thermal energy store of the concrete. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com. For more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.